Want to see the best way to stretch that back of hamburger? Right after this. Hi, Don Wellborn, the Empty Chef here. I am going to show you guys. Oh, I have to. Um, I have to. Uh, that's my hamburger for next month in January. And I gotta freeze it, so I'm gonna show you guys what I do. First of all, before I start anything, you always see these videos where they tell you to put a wet towel under your cutting board. The last thing you want on your cutting board is moisture for a long time. So I just use I just use a clean, wet sponge, right, on the bottom of my cutting board. Put it down, and that's not going anywhere for a good 20 minutes. Okay? So, and if I'm still cutting in 20 minutes, I shouldn't be a chef. <laughs> not for this recipe, anyway. Hi, I'm Don, the anti-chef, and we are here separating this gorgeous value pack of hamburger for next month in January. Because it is December 22nd, 23rd today. So we uh, have to get this in the freezer because I bought it yesterday. It's been sitting in the fridge since yesterday. So, so and I don't have a garbage. Ah, I thought I got my meter plots all done, but I guess I didn't. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I do with fresh hamburgers or any. I look underneath it, make sure there's not, okay, break it up, break it up. Okay, there we go. Easy to grab. All right, all right. First, always have a bowl of flour handy. About three, three and a quarter cups. You can use it while you're doing whatever, and then whatever afterwards. So, I'm going to take half a cup, which is this little guy right here, I'm going to cover them inside and out with flour. Okay. Because half a cup of straight meat, or straight hamburger, because I always mix my hamburgers, unless I'm making a hamburger steak, which is rare. There we go. See? Won't move. I, I moved that on purpose. Um, but uh, unless I'm making a hamburger steak, uh, uh, or I plan on making a hamburger steak, a, a half a cup of hamburger is more than enough to mix with your half cup uh, rolled oats or or uh, oatmeal or. Uh, rice or whatever you're gonna make for that day, but you're only using half a cup of meat. Okay. Now, what's great about the using a measuring cup to do this is that you've got these little half circles, and when they're frozen, they stick up. So you've got these little half circles all in your freezer. And then you, if you're going out for the day and you want hamburger that night, you know, you can just grab it. And you don't have to go searching which pack is which, which pack is for one, which pack is for two. You know, you just put a half circle in. Oh, a little extra. You get that. Um, half, uh, half, uh, half a cup of um, hamburger in a bag. Or you can put two or three if you got two or three in your family, or four, or whatever. Uh, you're going to need bigger bags. <laughs> but anyway, uh, too much air, too much air. Too much air. You don't want air in your bags when you're freezing meat because you'll get freezer burn. Um, my meat never lasts long enough to get freezer burn in the first place. But Let's put that in the corner. And 
pull it all out. Zip it almost all the way to the end. So we let the air escape and then bring it all down and zip it to the end. Okay, and now I fold that under the sink. Look out here and there. Look at that. Well, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. So that, that's easy to grab out of the freezer. <laughs> so like if you got 20 of these or however we're going to get, many we're going to get out of this package, we're going to find out. So back in the flour, pull it again, get that inside coated. And you're not changing the, the, uh, the flavor of your meat at all. You're adding a little bit of flour, but you're freezing it. So the moisture in the free, uh, freezer, when, when it, uh, when it um, freezes, it takes moisture out. Okay, though, so the flour will just evolve and go into the moisture, into the bag, and then... So, but you want to get that in there nice and tight so you get a full half cup. A full half cup of hamburger. And I shouldn't do it with my hand, I should do it on the board, so. There we go. So can I get this off of here? This is a new set of, so I, I haven't checked yet. I don't think I can. No, this one does This one doesn't come off. Okay, I need another set with it. When that comes off, I almost lost my fork. That's not good. Okay. So yes, this is bagging intensive. But I will show you what to do with bags that you've used for hamburger or pork. Never chicken or fish. Okay. Never, never. Those go in the garbage. Chicken or fish bags. After you're finished with them, they go in the garbage. Don't try and rewash them or anything like that. Just throw them up. That's two. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. Okay. And back to a half cup. Stick it in a flour. Sift it around. Get it in there. Dump it out. So I'm going to speed this up, and uh, we'll be back, or I'll, I'll stop, I'll, you, you'll see it when, it, I'll stop the speed when it's done, okay? <laughs> okay, just finished the last one. So we got one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine meals. Okay, because a half a cup, a half a cup of hamburger right there, that is more than enough for a meal for one. Not only that, it's, um, it, half a cup is, um, damn it, there's something I wanted to say here and I forgot where it was. I'll get it. I'll get it. Uh, oh, okay, well, I'll move on. So you want to make sure that all you're putting in here is your hamburger. You don't want to add your oatmeal or your spices or your salt and pepper or anything like that to your hamburger beforehand because you just never know. Unless you are you have everything uh, uh timed out to a T and all written down. <laughs> You're more OCD than I am. <laughs> you, you'd, uh, you don't know what you're going to add to this. You might, your, your, your oatmeal, uh, you could put oatmeal in and then you could get better oatmeal or you could get like a mixed nut somebody could give you and you want to make it into a, a meatloaf or something. Now, if you've already added your additives to this, I mean, you're stretching the hamburger even more, so, you know, what's the point? It may fall apart on you. You may have to use two or three eggs to keep it together. So, um, just, just stick with, when you're freezing, just the hamburger, okay? Now, you may think that we're done, but we're not done here. We are not done here. No, sir, you thought you were getting off easy. But no, we waste nothing in the poor man's kitchen. 
we waste nothing. Okay? We're going to take all this contaminated flour that we cannot put uh, back back in the bag because my hands have been in it, hamburgers have been in it, you know, the cups have been in it, they're clean, but they've been in it, right? And we got these little scoochies of hamburger here, we're going to just put that in it too. Okay? So I thought I had everything, but you know what, I forgot I forgot the cup of water, so I'm going to have to get that, but we're going to make some dough. Because we put three and a half cups, remember I said three, three and a quarter cups uh, in in a bowl. Always use like three and three and a quarter, three and a half cups. It depends how much meat you got to separate. Um, but now I, I'm pretty much guaranteed that there's a little over three cups of flour in here. And guess what three cups of flour make? That's right. It makes a perfect two pounds of dough. Or uh, 1.5 for your bread maker. So, two tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of sugar, and one and three quarter tablespoons of uh, high, uh, yeast, okay? And one cup plus extra that you want to have lying around. One cup of water. So I will be back after I get that and okay, I take them back in my freezer. So you know what else I forgot? I forgot my glasses because I'm going to need my glasses for this. Okay, so I don't have to get up again. I got a jug of just warm tap water, okay? I got it to as warm as it could. Now a level, a level cup, which is right there. So, oh. There we go. Now I'm going to need a little more than that, but it always depends. on your flour. It may feel like it needs more water. It may feel like, well, if it needs less water, you're screwed. And you gotta add more flour, and then you don't know the mix, and then you don't know the measurements, and oh my goodness, it's a mess. But anyway, I, could, I do have a mixer. I could use a mixer for this, but I'm not using my mixer because this is cooking for poor people, as my good friend uh, John says. Uh, Rest in peace, John. Uh, so, poor people don't have blenders, <laughs> is what he would say. John Witherspoon, that's his name. John Witherspoon. He's, poor people don't have blenders. <laughs> this is a poor person's blender. <laughs> yeah, so. Actually, I feel bad. I've been watching uh, John Witherspoon do his... <laughs> so-called comedy act cooking <laughs> on YouTube for for a while and uh, I had no idea that he had passed away in 2019 I had no idea usually I don't miss stuff like that like when celebrities pass away but if you uh, if you uh, if you want to check it out I'll put the link down below um it's Cooking for Poor People with John Witherspoon. Or John Witherspoon's Cooking for Poor People. One of the two. But, uh... <laughs> he's, uh, he's a pretty funny guy, and he's, uh... He's very political. You know? He works politics into his... into his comedy and whatever he's doing. And, uh, you know the right way to treat people, and so forth. He works it in, and he does a brilliant job, or he used to do a brilliant job of doing that. I'm going to pour this into here, because I'll pour too much for the, with a milk jug. I don't know what you call these in the States, but the, here in Canada, we use them as milk jugs, because they hit, we, we have milk in the bags, in bags. So, um, there's milk jug. Uh, we use those jugs because they, they they hold the bags perfectly. So, so the bags are like 1.33333 liters of milk, which is 
equals a four liter bag when you get three bags in a bag. <laughs> so. Anyway, so yeah, so all this contaminated flour that normally would just go in the garbage is not going in the garbage. Now, if you weren't going to make dough, you wouldn't put this much flour in uh, in a throw uh, throwaway bowl. Anyway, you just put like a handful or two. But I don't waste anything in this kitchen. Don's empty kitchen is just that. I have no money. I could show you my bank account right now. I think there's six dollars in it. I'm actually pleased with myself that I still have six dollars in my bank account. <laughs> so. so that, just a wee bit more water for some reason. I think it's the hamburger in this. Or maybe because I had a little more flour than I usually do. Just a wee bit, just a touch, just a tad. Because I wasn't sure how long, how much flour I was going to use um, breaking up the hamburger. Because it's quite honestly, I never paid attention before. This is the first time I'm doing everything. I'm doing everything on camera. I'm doing it for a cooking show so I can show other people how to do it. So now I'm really starting to pay attention to what I do. So. Okay, since. Since I don't want to get up, I guess uh, we do waste a little bit in this kitchen. <laughs> there we go. Because I don't want to get up again. So. You know what? I just want just a trickle, just a trickle of water in that dough. So, like, this way, and, and you can feel it while you're doing the dough, you know? You can't do that if you have a mixer. You can see it, but you really can't feel how the dough feels while it's being mixed. You can feel it if it's too dry or if it's too wet. That's nice and sticky. It's a good time to put that on the board, along with what's left in here. Use your nails. Don't be afraid to use your nails. Get your nails in there. And clean your nails when you take a shower. You can use your nails. And that it should be your maximum waste. <clears throat> All right. Now, uh, I want to do a video just on, well, it's going to be more of a comedic video on uh, how to pound your flour, how to pound your bread. And get out your frustrations. Matter of fact, I've already got a thumbnail that I've drawn up. Or actually, I'm in the middle of drawing it up. And it's a, a loaf of bread sitting on a couch. And my, my tuned character sitting behind with his hands like this, like he's listening to him. And it's called therapy bread. <laughs> and uh, it's how to get your frustrations out in a loaf of bread. The... Uh, the other day, was it yesterday or was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Uh, yesterday, <laughs> when my daughter was here, so I have no concept of time. <laughs> when my daughter was here, she made therapy bread and she went pounding at it like crazy, you know, <laughs> just, just really nuts. And, and she got everything out, you know. You know, you wouldn't let me go to the dance and na 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 na. You know, and she she went nuts, <laughs> and uh, 
She won't let me ca- get her on camera, though. That's the thing. She won't let me get her on camera. I've tried. I've tried to set up, like, secret cameras, and <laughs> she will not let me put her on YouTube. I can put photos up as long as they're complimentary, but I cannot put a video of her on YouTube. <laughs> but that's okay. I wouldn't do it to my middle daughter because she'd sue me. My middle daughter's a lawyer. <laughs> and uh, my son, my oldest, he's in his 30s. <clears throat> and he works for CMHA, which is Canadian Mental Health Association. And he teaches computers to people who have a little difficulty with, you know, such things and, you know, anger control and stuff like that. And so, so, hey, don't worry about him. He's safe. He's a big guy. I mean, he's... Uh, you know, and he's my son, so I guarantee you, he is safe. <laughs> I don't worry about him in the least. Yeah. And he's also a gamer and plays Warcraft, too, by the way. <laughs> and if you're looking for him online, his online character name is Cypher Diaz. And he always says that anime stole it from him because he had it first. <laughs> Apparently there's a anime character, a Uchigon character, or something like that, that is very popular, that's named is Cypher Diaz. He's had that name for, oh, since he was an early teen, so yeah, definitely. An early, like a preteen, he's had that name since he was a preteen, so. So he definitely, I believe him. When he says that uh, they stole it from him rather than he stole it from them. <laughs> so. He spells it a little differently, too, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, I'd have to talk to him and find out. But that's what he does. And I'd like to take a second to talk to you about something here. Um. Not to all the haters out there, but for the people who believe that uh, you must have heard the saying, welfare breeds welfare. My oldest son works for CMHA. His whole career is helping other people. My middle daughter is a lawyer. We don't talk very often. We have our differences. But I'm very proud of her. I love her very much. And she had children when she was 16 years old. She had a kid when she was 16 years old. Uh, raised it, had another one four years later, raised him, went back to school, right, and got her uh, a bunch of things that she needs to become a lawyer. I'm not quite sure what that is. But she's in the last year of her schooling. She's working at uh, ex-cops, um, helping people get out of traffic tickets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so the next time you hear somebody say welfare breeds welfare, keep that in mind, will you? Thank you. And that's the end of my rant today, okay? All right. So that's a nice ball of dough. My problem is I don't think it's going to fit in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> and if it does, it won't fit because I'm going to leave it in the fridge overnight because I'm a sensitive sleeper, and if I leave my bread maker on, I won't get any sleep till 4 a.m. when it stops because it's roughly around midnight now. Oh, shit! <laughs> it's way, it's 
I won't get any sleep till 5.30 when it stops. And then it will smell like bread, so I won't get any sleep at all. So this is going in the fridge overnight. And I'm going to throw this in the bread maker first thing in the morning. So I get up between 6 and 7. So by uh, 10, 30, 11, I'm going to have a nice, soft loaf of bread to have a late breakfast with. So... Now, one last thing I'd like to mention before I go is we had nine of those packages of hamburger, right? So that's nine packages of hamburger. Um, you, you, will, you haven't seen yet, but you will see uh, the, the, what's in my cupboards because I do a video that's going to come out February 1st called 40 Days and 40 Nights. And what it represents is the time that ODSP, Ontario Disability Support Program, we get paid just before Christmas. We get paid on the 21st, okay? Just before Christmas. Now, I don't know about you, but most people will spend at least half their check on the people they love for Christmas. And then they got half a check, that January check, half a check to last 40 days. Now... That cuts everything down. That cuts your bills down. That cuts your budget down. You have 40 days with no money uh, in, in, in Ontario, in Canada. Uh, on ODSB, January is your worst month because you have 40 days to go uh, with no money. So, that's why September, I start getting ready in September. I start putting extra on my bills in September. I start putting... $10, $5, $20 extra on my cable bill, my phone bill, my internet bill uh, right away. I, I start that in September. So when January comes, I don't have to worry. I've got extra built up that everything's going to be paid and I don't have to worry about it. So that's where I am right now. So I don't have to worry about it. And uh, I, was, I was going to go to the food bank and get myself some food. Uh, but that's a story for that video, so I'll save that for that video. It's coming out February 2nd. If you're going to watch anything I do all year, that's the video you want to see. Because it shows you how to discipline yourself for one month, only one month, how to discipline yourself and plan your meals. Because that's 120 meals, people. 120 regular meals that you've got to get through with what meager amount you can get on on ODSP, welfare, and old age. Okay, so um, if you're going to see any video I do this year, that's the one to watch. Anyway, thanks for joining me. And remember, you have value, you have worth, and you have a place in this world that you deserve, okay? Somebody out there loves you, somebody cares for you, and you are important, okay? That you are the reason why I'm doing this. So, take care of yourself. Find something that will get you out of bed in the morning. And you have a good day. I'll see you next time. Okay?